So, is McLaren bending the rules or bending the will of every other team on the grid? Welcome to the world of Formula One, where cheating is just another word for pioneering, and McLaren's new Mini DRS has the pit lane buzzing faster than the Red Bull PR team after a Max Verstappen penalty. But is this crafty bit of aero a genius move, or are they playing fast and loose with the regulations again? Grab your tinfoil hats, because today we're diving into the juicy details of McLaren's latest trickery. Sorry, I mean, innovation. Stick around, because things are about to get spicy. Let's be honest, if there's one thing F1 teams love more than finding a loophole, it's finding a loophole and rubbing it in everyone else's face. And McLaren's shiny new toy, what we're calling the Mini DRS, could either be their ticket back to the front or the latest addition to F1's Hall of Fame for sneaky schemes. But first things first, what even is a mini DRS? Is it just a regular DRS that hit the gym too hard, or is there more to this story? Now let's talk DRS. For those who've spent the last decade living under a rock, or worse, watching NASCAR, DRS is that magical flap that opens up on the rear wing to give drivers a few extra clicks of top speed. It's the closest thing to push to pass F1 has, except, you know, it's only legal in certain zones. Unless, of course, you're McLaren, and you've found a way to keep that flap doing extra work, even when it's supposed to be taking a nap. The rumors started in the paddock, as they always do. Drivers complained that passing a McLaren felt like playing Mario Kart, except McLaren was hogging all the golden mushrooms. Extra straight-line speed in places where they shouldn't have any? That's when the whispers began. Mini DRS. It sounds cute, right? Like something you'd buy your kid for Christmas. Except this one apparently breaks the laws of aerodynamics and common sense. Of course, no one's outright saying McLaren's cheating. That would be far too easy. This is F1 where the art of diplomacy is just a fancy way of talking poo behind each other's backs. But let's just say, if looks could kill, McLaren's pit wall would be six feet under after the Spanish Grand Prix. According to the tech geeks, sorry, engineers, the Mini DRS is all about marginal gains. You know, those little things that shave off milliseconds. And in F1, milliseconds are worth more than a Lance Stroll daddy's yacht. McLaren claims this teeny tiny flap helps reduce drag in the tight sections of the track. And if you squint just right, you'll see it fluttering at speeds where it shouldn't. So is McLaren playing dirty? Well, if you ask them, they'll say no. Of course, this is the same team that's been innovating since they forgot how to build a car that wasn't orange and slow. Now, they're back, with a wing set up that's got the FIA scrambling for their rulebook, like they just realized they left it at home. The real question is, how long will it last? The FIA's crack team of rule enforcers, you know, the ones who seem to turn a blind eye every time Ferrari does something sketchy, will either slap McLaren with a penalty faster than you can say budget cap breach or let this ride as another technical innovation. And let's be honest, the last time a team got away with an innovation this sneaky, it ended with Mercedes winning every title since Hamilton could grow a beard. So is this just the start of McLaren's renaissance or are we witnessing the birth of the next F1 scandal? Either way, McLaren might want to watch their backs. After all, in Formula One, if you're not accused of cheating at least once, are you even trying? Because you can bet your bottom dollar that while the FIA is investigating, every other team is already working on their own version of the mini DRS. I mean, if McLaren's found something that works, 
Red Bull and Ferrari are probably three weeks away from slapping something similar onto their cars. And Aston Martin's just happy to copy everyone else's homework. But hey, let's not forget the real victims here. The fans. We're the ones left scratching our heads, trying to figure out whether McLaren's about to dominate the second half of the season or implode spectacularly. Either way, we're in for a show. So, what do you think? Is McLaren cheating or are they just a bunch of clever dudes? Let me know in the comments below because I'm dying to hear what you think. But be quick. By the time this video's done, McLaren's probably already found their next loophole. And trust me, you don't want to miss that one. Oh, and McLaren. If you're watching this, I won't tell if you won't. Just send me one of those mini DRS setups, and we'll call it even. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Because if you thought this was wild, just wait until Red Bull finds out about this. Trust me, the drama's only just begun. Before you rush off to debate whether McLaren's DRS is legal or just a bit naughty, let's consider one more thing. If this mini DRS innovation does work out, does it mean we'll see everyone on the grid rocking something similar next season? I can already see it now. Ferrari trying to install their own version only to somehow make the car slower in the process. Mercedes, of course, would give theirs a name so long it needs its own manual. The Day S Enhanced Rear Wing, version 2.5 Hybrid Turbo Mini Maxi DRS System. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Honestly, if this Mini DRS catches on, it could be the start of a whole new arms race in F1. Soon, we'll be seeing wings so small and sneaky, the cars will practically be flying by 2026, all while the FIA scratches their heads, trying to figure out if this even counts as DRS anymore. But hey, that's F1 for you. The only place where innovation, controversy, and a good old-fashioned rules debate are all part of the fun. And whether McLaren's onto something groundbreaking, or just bending the rules until they snap, one thing's for sure. We're in for a wild ride.